This is a car, and this is a West Coast Customs car. Yeah, tattoos and tailpipes from bad to the bone. It started out as a one-man shop, has grown into a worldwide We're the West Coast empire. Wizards of Leather and Chrome. No matter how big we get, it's still all about the car. Coast creative ideas. Creative innovative is the name of the game. At West Coast Customs, we build the cars that people want to dream about. Coast is gonna build a job way. I'm Ryan Keeling House, and I'm inviting you inside West Coast Customs. So today's a great day. Just got a phone call from Lucasfilm. They want to talk to me about doing a project, I'm assuming it's Star Wars, so I'm really excited just since I am a huge Star Wars fan. So I'm gonna go up to San Francisco, sit down with them and figure out what this build's all about. Hi, good morning. Hi. I'm John Goodson. Hey, John. Welcome to Ryan. Industrial Light and Magic. It's my wife, Megan. Hi, Megan. Nice to meet you. This is little Ryan. Ryan. And Dylan. Hi, Hi Dylan. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Good. Since you got your family here, why don't we go check out some of the stuff that's around the company, look at some of the movie artifacts and things like that? I'm excited. Cool. This is one of our only Star Wars artifacts here. It's a little TIE fighter. Oh, that's cool. Well, this was used on Jedi. And this is a Yoda. A Yoda, we have a, a we have several yeah, got, Yodas yeah. at our house. There's an actual stormtrooper. Yeah. Obviously, I'm a humongous Star Wars fan, and being able to come down here to ILM and see just what it really takes to put together one of these movies that we all love and to bring my family along with me, it's really a once in a lifetime thing. Dylan, stand by the front door. <laughs> you look like a giant. Look at E.T. Yeah, it's E.T. Well, you know what? This is the end of the tour. Do you guys want to go off and get some lunch? Yeah. And we'll go to the design room and we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay. Come on, bud. We'll see you shortly. I'm so glad you got to come up here and yeah. we're going to get to work with you. This is awesome. I'm pumped. This is like one of those, you know, things that, is this really happening? Dream project? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you should see my house. Well, let's go in here and All meet right. some of the concept guys. So this is Alex Yeager, concept hey, artist. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Brian yeah. Freelinghouse, and this is Tang Lee. Hey, man. Also concept nice to meet you. Awesome. Exciting. Let's get to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think this is going to be awesome because Ryan is such a huge fan, and that makes such a big difference because you could get any number of companies to work on this, but they don't have that kind of personal involvement that he does. Star Wars is very near and dear to his heart. We kind of thought, you know, it would be a cool kind of way to convey Star Wars through a car and Lucasfilm and everything. And right. uh, one of the things that came to mind was the, the uh, Star Wars kid commercial with mm -hmm. the little Darth Vader and the right. Star Wars thing. So I thought maybe the, uh, the US built Passat would be a good sort of canvas to work with. Yeah. It's a good looking car already, so yeah. you get tons of ideas just looking at it, right? Yeah. What are yeah. your guys' ideas? Well, uh, we came up with some some ideas here to start with. This is sort of playing around with the idea of a stormtrooper car, playing with the Imperial logo in places, whether on the wheels or little details in the headlights. And then, uh, That's awesome. whether you like want to that. go dark side or light side, we got the right. Rebel the Rebel car with the, uh, the orange and gray paint job. And then of course, everybody's favorite, the, uh, the Darth Vader car. Right. <laughs> Little touches of red and the flat black and shiny black. I like them all. Can we build them all? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the one that really stands out the most is probably the Vader car. I like the flat black and the gloss black. Definitely like the red accents. Cool. <laughs> it really makes my mind just start thinking like immediately. I mean, I definitely think the front of his mask is something I really want to focus on. You know, almost making that triangle right there in the front. Yeah. But looking at, I mean, I've seen a bunch of this stuff on the walls right here. It's like, there's so many things we can integrate. What about the yeah. TIE Fighter? Some details like the window, shapes like that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ideas. Obviously, I'm gonna be a little overwhelmed right now since yeah. I just had this awesome tour <laughs> and now, you know, looking at all this. But once I get back and I, I sit down and I, you know, sit with my guys and come up with some ideas, 
it would be cool to, you know, maybe get a couple pieces that I could sit with my guys and look at. And yeah, we can put together a packet of stuff and send it down to you. You'll have, have a complete kit of things to look at. But I mean, thank you guys for your time. I mean, this was unbelievable for me. I don't want to go home. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I want to stay here. You gotta go build the car. Yeah, but I'm ready. Don't cool. much. Well, thank you. It's thank been a you. pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Looking at all these pieces around me and all this stuff on the wall, I my my head spinning right now. So, I mean, seeing all the different renderings and seeing all the different ideas from the Rebel car to you know a Stormtrooper car, I think the Darth Vader one really just stood out the most. This one is so important to me since I am a humongous Star Wars fan. I have a lot of work ahead of me because I don't want to overdo it. There's a ton of Star Wars fans that obviously are going to be looking at this car and I want to make sure I do the right thing, you know, and I think I got a bunch of stuff now that I can take back to Jeff and me and him can sit down, maybe go and actually watch one of the films in my theater at home and just start collaborating some ideas and just build Vader's ride. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're going to build a car that Darth Vader would drive. I love the idea of a Darth Vader car and I think we all kind of gravitated towards that. I think it was sort of there's something, I mean, Vader to me is the natural one that you would pick to do that with. Bad guys always have the coolest stuff. Vader as a design has uh, great aesthetics, the silhouette, the character, everything. And putting that into a car where a car is defined by, you know, the profile and whatnot, it's, it's great. Oh, I can't wait to see the final car. I really want to see it. I want to see it right now. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. Jeff, let's go. What's up, man? We're going on a field trip. Yeah. Got a ton of inspiration by going to see all the Star Wars stuff. I need Jeff to kind of get that same inspiration. <laughs> I just went to Lucasfilm, got a ton of inspiration by getting to see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. Now I'm gonna go meet with Jeff and actually take him on a field trip and see if I can somewhat do the same thing. Jeff, let's go. What's up, man? We're going on a field trip. Yeah. This will be a good one. Welcome to my casa. All right, Jeff. Well, it's not Lucasfilm, but got a lot of cool collectible <laughs> stuff for me. This is really who we're talking about is Darth Vader. Like that whole face piece and his chest piece and like, we can really get creative with it, you know? Yeah. I really like, like, you know, these tones of black. I think if we could do something with that, with the paint. Like a gloss and a matte. Yeah, a gloss and a matte maybe. And then maybe do something with this for the radio part, you know, in the interior. Work Sorry, with Ish on right. something with his, <laughs> the seat should feel like his, his suit. I'm just trying to really think of like all the iconic pieces to him. Obviously his, his mask, is, that's a really big piece of you know who he is. Like we gotta make this one cool. Where all the fans, cause we have, how many Star Wars fans are out there? They're gonna look at this car and say that we did a good job. That's what I want, yeah. you know? All right, let's go watch a movie. Ready, Jeff? Yeah, let's do this. It had been a long time since I had seen the film, so to see it again is really inspirational overall. A lot of stuff you don't remember, little details that we can use in the build. So I escaped the office for a little bit, but I gotta get back to the Death Star and uh, get started on these renderings. So I think using the VW Passat is just the perfect vehicle for this, since the Passat and that little Darth Vader kid that they had in the whole commercial for Super Bowl last year was really cool. I mean, for me, it was pretty funny just because you don't really see a lot of Star Wars commercials. So when you've seen that commercial and the kid trying to use the force to start the car and the mom and dad are inside and they started with the remote start, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I related to it and the car has a good feel to it. So building this Darth Vader car out of the Passat just makes sense. There's a lot of lines that make a lot of sense on it. Just adding the paint scheme and a couple little things that we came up with, I think it's gonna be a really, really cool car. So Jeff just finished the renderings. We just printed them out. I'm gonna go downstairs, meet with the guys and talk about this awesome build. I don't wanna make it a cheesy Star Wars car. R2-D2 coming out the back, you know, just some funny different things, which are cool, but for us, it's like we have our brand and we're building awesome, awesome cars now. It's like we got to stick to that, but still make it feel like Darth Vader. So we came up with a couple different renderings, me and Jeff, do the front fascia like 
his mask, do the lighting, get Oracle to come down and do some really cool red lighting on it. So Lucasfilm provided us with a couple sounds. One of the ones I really liked the best was the lightsaber turning on and the lightsaber turning off, which I think would be really cool when you open the door and close the door. So I'm gonna get these sounds down to Wes and have him integrate them into the car. Wes, the yes. challenge for you is really gonna be making the navigation and all the sounds in the car to sound like Darth Vader. I got the sounds, I have his voice, I have everything we need. Sounds good, cool. All right, let's do it. Wanna see something cool? Look at what I got when I was there. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Crazy. To build the ultimate dark side ride, we'll start with a brand new Volkswagen Passat. After the teardown, we'll shave the handles and start the transformation by updating the front grille to look like the breathing vents in Darth Vader's home. In the trunk, we're gonna build Vader's Hall, a display case housing memorabilia honoring the dark lord. The exterior, we'll get a two-tone black mat and high gloss paint job. While inside the car, we'll be looking at the full dark side treatment, including a lightsaber e-brake handle, a recreation of Vader's iconic chest piece to mask the navigation system, three diamond audio 10-inch subwoofers, black leather, and suede on the seats. Underneath, the car will get updated exhaust tips and red Oracle LEDs to light up the chassis and custom Asante wheels. And the whole thing will be sitting on a brand new set of Continental tires. There is no doubt, the force is strong with this one. So Lucasfilm sent us a bunch of product, from t-shirts to lightsabers to some of the posters, artwork, books. I mean, there was a ton of things that they sent. One, it was awesome just to add to my collection. But two, there's a lot of stuff that I want to use in the build. I mean, one of the lightsabers I was thinking about taking apart, using as the e-brake handle in the car. There was a lot of inspiration. But for me, I mean, just doing this build, I come up with tons and tons of ideas. You know, I want to really make West Coast Custom, Star Wars combined and build a really awesome car. Early Christmas presents, maybe? So I sent Kenny to go pick up the VW. It may come in as a VW, but it's gonna leave Vader's ride. Sweet. It's nice though, huh? These cars are nice. And when you think of VW, it's always like a bug, right? <laughs> or a bus, but not a luxury car. Wow, it's suede and leather? <laughs> All right, well, let's pull it inside and tear it apart. Bad. We got Vader's ride. 90% of the build is all about the interior. It's a very complex where you can go and tear it down and kind of leave it at an empty shell, but completing the inside. I think using Darth Vader as a character to build a car around is probably the perfect fit, just because there's a lot of characteristics to his suit, to his mask, to some of the different pieces of his ship. There's a ton of stuff to do, and I don't want to overdo it, but at the same time, I want to integrate the perfect pieces to it so it really feels like a Vader car. So what we're trying to do is recreate Darth Vader's mask on the front of this vehicle. And the old grill doesn't even look like this, so what we're trying to do is cut out all the old original grill, reconstruct a whole new grill out of clay, and pull a mold off it and make a composite part. We're ready to cut a home in the BW for the new glass in the roof. One of the vehicles that Darth Vader has in the movie Star Wars is the TIE Fighter. And there's a bunch of elements on the TIE Fighter that I was trying to figure out how to incorporate it in the car. And one of the biggest things, I think, is the windshield of it, the front piece of where he actually looks out when he's driving. Obviously, on this car, we can't do that because the windshield, you got to be able to drive it. So the next best place is to cut a hole in the roof and make it mimic the, the actual windshield of the TIE Fighter. So. I told the guys in the 11th hour of this build when it's getting ready to go to paint, we gotta cut a hole in the roof and come up with this piece. So right now, we cut the hole, we're gonna finalize it by cutting these little pieces to fill the gap where the sunroof used to be, weld it in and get it over to the body shop. The piece is cut, now it's time to go tack it on the car and get this car off to the body shop. Hey boss, uh, I'm ready to work boss. So 
after everything fits and it's in, we're gonna get a piece of polycast that fits in here perfect that actually matches the contour of the roof. We're gonna sandblast and scribe the actual design from the TIE Fighter windshield in it. So when you're driving at night, you look up, it ultimately looks like you're looking out the front windshield of the TIE Fighter. To make this car look more smooth and elegant, we're gonna shave the door handles. The reason why we spend so much time molding the vehicle is we actually try to capture every single mounting point of the vehicle. So that way we get ready to put it back on the cart and pulls right on. So we got this part pretty much trimmed up, so let's go check to see how it fits. Looks like factory, guys. This is already the triangles are identical composite, so we're gonna make some steel bars that actually represent the grills of the um, Vader's mask. That's pretty cool. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. I wanted to do a Star Wars piece on my leg for a long time, and it's like, you know what, what's a better time to start this than now? You ready for this? Yep, let's do it. <laughs> for me, tattoos obviously is a big part of my life. I'm always getting something that reminds me of something. I wanted to do a Star Wars piece on my leg for a long time, and it's like, you know what, what's a better time to start this? And now, so I called in Fabian, one of my good friends that's also a tattoo artist, and I had him do a Darth Vader head shot on my calf, so around that we can add some different characters and really make it a whole Star Wars piece. You ready for this? Yep, let's do it. That's it, you're done. Now hang out for a minute, don't stand up. We went about close to four hours and uh, this isn't an easy area to get tattooed. It stings back there, but uh, he never moved once. He may have complained a lot, but that has no effect whatsoever on the final result. Now, stand up slowly. Mm. <laughs> I have um, a special guest that's going to be uh, arriving to make sure that uh, we got it dialed in and uh, give us the final approval on it. Field disturbance in the force. Show him. Approved. So the front end of the car is pretty much handled right now. Behind me, Manuel's working on the back end of it, which is basically trying to take some of the design cues off the TIE Fighter and add it into the exhaust exit port, which is going to be in the middle. And then he's shaping everything else with metal around the side of it. The guy's busted ass last night. The car is fully prepped. It's ready to go in the booth. George is mixing up his BSF paint. Vader's ride's ready to get sprayed. We got the first part done of the process. We painted a high gloss black. The reason we painted a high gloss black so the door jams and all the shut faces will all be, all be done. And then we gotta come back after we fit the front end, we gotta come back and do a matte stripes. So it gives it that look of the abator's mask. So our friends at Oracle are showing up today. They're gonna bring the headlights that they made for this Vader car, but also they're gonna bring some extra lighting for Wes to kind of put underneath it in the wheel wells to really make it glow red so it feels like the dark side. What's up, hey, 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 what's up, guys? Got some lights for you, man. All right. Unwrap these. Cool think. stuff as usual. Dude, oh, they look God. awesome, and they're not even on yet. I know. I want to light one of these puppies up and see how it looks. 
Oh, yeah. Oracle killed it again. They dropped off a bunch of cool stuff that we're going to use on the Vader car, not just the headlights, but we're going to do some accent lighting underneath. Everything's red, like Darth Vader, and they used a different type of LED than uh, what we've used before, and there's a, a real fine tolerance in between them, so they're closer than the halos we normally use. But once it's on, you can really tell you get that rich, bright glow that's really gonna set this thing off, and I'm excited to get it all in the car. What these are gonna do is, these are going to go down the rocker of the vehicle. It'll allow the whole underside of each side of the vehicle to glow pretty intensely red, which is gonna be really cool with the rest of the vehicle, the accent lighting on the headlights, things like that. Cool. I'm happy with it. We got the beast. Finally here. Like it's gonna start looking like Vader. So, you know, when Jeff did this rendering, uh -huh. you know, you kind of look at it and you see it going off there, but you don't see where it goes. So I think we should just lay some tape out and kind of see where these lines end up okay. going. One of the things I think on Darth Vader's suit and the way he looks in just different photos that we've looked at, there's a lot of different highlights on him. And I think that painting the whole car black gloss, coming back and doing the matte black stripes on it to kind of give it those highlights to look like his hood and his mask and kind of his suit, I think it's really going to give it that feel and look that we're looking for. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah. Because it better. goes into the V. It needs to go into a V more like that. It kind of comes down into that and then goes back out into mm -hmm. that. Okay, I think we got a good picture of it. No, definitely. I think we're in the right direction. So maybe you can get with the guys, have them tape everything off. We'll stand back and look at it one last time before we send it over to paint. I'm going to go get some more pictures of the TIE Fighter and see if there's some other elements we can add to it. We'll tape up one side only. Okay. We'll get that looked at, and if we see something different, we can come to the other side. All right, cool. Good. Maybe we bring this stripe, just like a little stripe, you know, follow this body, the body line. line. I think it's perfect. We need to get over to the body shop, get it Darth Vaderized. So they did a really good job mounting it out. I think this is exactly what we're looking for. Now it's time to get unwrapped and get out the final assembly. So I'm gonna go meet with Ishmael and talk about this Vader build. The interior on this car, I think, has gotta be as perfect as the exterior. So I printed out a couple different ideas and then Jeff's rendering. Sit down and see what we can figure out. What's up, Ish? What's up, Ray? So here's the thing. I sat with Jeff, we came up with a couple ideas, we did a rendering, but I don't think it's enough. For this one, I mean, it's gotta be special. I mean, you know my love for Star Wars. Kind of. I feel you. So we got we got a suit. You know, he's got this like quilted stuff going on. He got his cape. He got this like little chain that goes around his his uh, neck right there. That's because he likes heavy metal. That's why he wears a chain. <laughs> <laughs> so if Darth Vader was real, he is real. But if he was real and he came here and said, "I need a car that represents me," that's how we gotta build it. Brian uh, and I we talk about the Vader car. I understand exactly what he wants, but he wants like the quail thin material on the sides, the cape, the helmet on the headrest. It's gonna be a challenge, but uh, you know, I couldn't say no. Get out of here. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. So Kenny's on his way over to Aero Marine to work with Carmen to figure out what this roof piece is gonna be made out of. It's a lot different than a, a normal sunroof, right? So Kenny's on his way over to Aero Marine to work with Carmen to figure out what this roof piece is going to be made out of. Once that's done, he's going to bring it back. Daniel will sandblast the actual TIE Fighter design in the glass itself, and then it'll be ready to be installed. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to actually cut out a mask and lay it on the glass, and then we're going to sandblast the glass so we can backlight it and make it look like the TIE Fighter. All right, let's blast this bad boy. Yeah. 
get back over the table, get it unmasked, and make sure we're good to go. All right, there you have it. It's all done. We now have the front of our TIE Fighter to go on the top of the car. Um, my opinion, I think Darth Vader actually be pretty proud of this one. How'd it turn out, Kenny? I don't know, let's check it out now. Tie Fighter-ish? <laughs> That's cool. It's a lot different than a, a normal sunroof, right? Yeah, well, look at the shape. It actually follows the shape. No, I know, I love it. I gotta look at it from the top. I'm gonna go upstairs and look. It looks finished, right? I mean, that. I'm so glad we did that. Gives a whole different look. Kenny, I summons you. Lucas sent us some of these, and I figured I would donate it to you to take apart and use as an e-brake handle. Bracket it on there, get a wrap done, and we're good to go. So one of the problems we have with this Vader build is the interior on this car is tan. And since we're going with the whole Vader look and we want it to be black, we gotta really paint the interior or dye it. So we've invited our friends over at Sam to come by and really show us how to do it, since this is something that we don't do here at the shop and something we need to learn how to do. Well, my name's Danny Votel. I'm with PPX Reps. We are the Sam Reps for the state of California. The materials that we're using today are gonna be factory quality. It's gonna be the same type of material that are used at the manufacturers to put on the cars originally. We're gonna be taking this car from a light tan color to a black color. Which one do you wanna start with? The door panel will be fine. All right. Out pretty good. We didn't lose any of the texture, as you can see, and you know the sheen is perfect. We just got done shooting the job. Everything uh, turned out great, and now it's time to get back to the shop. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. So I'm here at Asante. Since this is a build that's so important to me, I want to make sure these wheels are right. Everybody loves Star Wars, right, sir? Yeah, I know. <laughs> So a quick update on Vader's ride. It's coming together really, really good. I mean, Oracle came in, did the lights. The lights look amazing. The paint's turning out awesome. Right now, Daniel's finishing up some of the trunk stuff. I think there's so many Star Wars fans out there that are gonna be blown away when they see the representation that we did of Star Wars slash Darth Vader. Once Kenny does the clay molding on the dashboard and makes it look like Darth Vader's chest piece, it's really gonna tie that feeling in when you're sitting inside the car. So I'm excited to see it all done. Everything looks beautiful. Ryan loved it when he came down and looked at it. I like the accent pieces. If Vader had a vault, that's what it would look like. So now we're going to actually make the thumbprint scanner in the locking system. So I started off with a piece of acrylic, which will mount in from the back side right here. And then we'll take the thumbprint scanner and we're going to French it into the glass. So everything will look flush, and then we'll paint this red, and it'll look just like a lock. Ryan would really like to incorporate some of the theme sounds from the Star Wars movies and uh, kind of incorporate some of Vader's sounds. Of course, the most popular one of those would be the, uh, the lightsaber. And Ryan would like to incorporate those sounds with the doors opening and closing. TomTom Tom has a really cool handheld navigation that will work in any vehicle. So my challenge with that is to take the audio from that and get it piped through our amazing sound system so that we can incorporate some of those sounds with uh, not only the navigation, but maybe some other cool stuff inside the car. That was spot on. That's awesome. Put my heat shrink over these so that they're protected. Get them up into the car and uh, test it with all four doors. And I think uh, this is a wrap. Take the
the ferry and bring me all the passengers. I want them alive. That's how Vader's supposed to sound. So I'm here at Asante. I'm gonna go see Sergio. He's got my wheels ready for this VW build. Since this is a build that's so important to me, I wanna make sure these wheels are right. I'm gonna check them out. Hopefully they're ready. I'm gonna load them up and get them back to the shop. Right here. Everybody loves Star Wars, right, Sergio? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bring back memories, huh? Yeah, it does. Do you think? That's cool. That's perfect. Even this, yeah, you know, you're gonna good. put lights and everything. Cool. Yeah, it's got that red light that's gonna go yeah. up from behind it. The that's awesome. gonna be on fire. All right. Man. All right, we're good to go. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Send me some pictures. Yeah, well, you got to come over and check it out when it's done. Uh-huh. Kenny! The wheels are here. They look good? Yeah. I told them, this build is pretty important. Dude. Oh, it's sick. It's sick, right? Holy crud. Sweet, there it is, looks good. All right, Daniel. Hey, what's up, man? The helmets are here. Sweet. First Darth Vader, then we have the TIE helmet, a Stormtrooper. There we go. <laughs> Fits good, looks good. That's sick. Got the whole dark side in the trunk. Yep. That logo looks really good too, huh? I like it. I just brought Daniel the helmets. They all fit in there perfect, I think it honestly, really finishes off the trunk. That box that he built back there is awesome. It's not part of Star Wars, but we made it part of Star Wars. So we're gonna load it up and send it off to So the car's finished, it looks amazing. I wish I was keeping it for my own collection, but I really gotta get it off to ILM. Hopefully, this will give him some inspiration. Be careful with my baby. All right. All right, I'll see you in San Francisco. All right, sounds good. All right. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. So we made it to San Francisco. The car is here. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is awesome. So I've been a Star Wars fan for a long, long time. I mean, since I was a kid, I mean, it's always been something that I was into. I got a phone call from Lucas and they want to do a build. Anything Star Wars, anything Lucas, I'm in. And then of course, everybody's favorite, the, uh, the Darth Vader car. Right. <laughs> Bad guys always have the coolest stuff. And we're gonna build a car that Darth Vader would drive. There's a ton of stuff to do and I don't want to overdo it, but at the same time, I want to integrate the perfect pieces to it so it really feels like a Vader car. Got the whole dark side in the trunk. Yep. It ultimately looks like you're looking out the front windshield of the TIE Fighter. He got his cape. He got this like little chain that goes around his, his uh, neck right there. That's because he likes heavy metal. That's why he wears a chain. <laughs> Show him. Approved. So we made it to San Francisco. The car is here. We snuck it in one of ILM stages right now. My next step is go grab John and the guys and really unveil this car to them. There's a lot of people that work here. I don't want anybody to see the car. So since it is Vader's ride, only a stormtrooper can protect it. Hey guys. Hey, hey Ryan. How's it going? Good. Good to Come see on. you guys. Uh, you ready to see this car? Let's yeah. go check it out. Yeah. All right. All right. Behind this door is a piece of history. 
Get ready. See ya. It's amazing in the That's dark, cool. right? Yeah. Wow, wow. wow. <laughs> that but is awesome. Now, let me, we should use a force. <laughs> wow. Huh? Wow. I took some of your guys' <laughs> stuff and then put some of our stuff in it. The cool thing with the front of the car was that even though it has the, the Darth Vader triangle on it, um, it's not a literal interpretation. It's nice and close to the front end of the car, so it's not, it doesn't feel like something that was tacked on after the fact. It sort of gives the whole car a direction. The matte and the gloss paint is really striking, plus the red lights. I mean, you know, it's got so many great design elements to it, so yeah. Walking in, it was awestruck, kind of, yeah. And we kept oh, it clean, clean and simple on the sides, you know, we shaved the handles off. Super clean. So you got LEDs inside the yeah at, inside the, the wheels. Yeah, inside the wheels. That is cool. Underneath the car, and then the back end. I'm really excited to show you guys the back end. It was like we did so much in the front, and you're like, what can we do in the back? You know. So that was when I took that Tie Fighter and took oh, some wow, of the, nice. the features and working exhaust. <laughs> 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 When we build these vehicles, it's like, what can we do? We put a video game system, or we do this, we do that. And it's like, this car is so special. <laughs> and it's like, I love collecting Star Wars stuff. So I said, let's make something in the trunk that's like Vader's vault. So we did a thumbprint deal here. <laughs> so you thumbprint, and then you can pull this piece off and put in different pieces in there. You got to see the interior of this. Took the TIE Fighter windshield and and put it as like a sunroof. <laughs> if we did it on the windshield, it would have looked not right, but I figured... You'd be able to drive it on the yeah, street. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Added some sound to it. So when you open the door, it sounds like a lightsaber opening. I love the seats. Yeah. They are beautiful. Oh, wow. Cool, huh? That is cool. <laughs> oh, this is awesome and blew up Darth Vader's chest piece a little bit to cover the radio. It talks too, right? It talks too. Yeah, it talks. You want to hear it? You yeah. guys got to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to hear it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> we ran it through all the stereo system in here, so it sounds amazing. At the end of the road, <laughs> take the ferry and bring me all the passengers. I want them alive. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? It looks Great. awesome. Yeah. It's good, right? <laughs> we got somebody official coming in to check it out, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that scream, that's his stamp of approval. He loved it. That's good. Usually clients don't scream at the cars, but yeah. since it is it Vader's ride, right? Star. I mean, <laughs> well, I'll leave you the keys. Oh, Thank wow. you very Thanks, much. <laughs> cool. cool. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. All right, thanks guys. Ryan has tastefully chosen a, a large collection of things, put them together. The seats are incredible. I love those. All the little accents. He's integrated all these things together really beautifully in the car. Definitely an exercise in restraint and editing as far as picking out which bits to use and which elements that you don't want to literally copy from the original source, but you want to sort of get the feel of. And I think that's exactly what Ryan and his team did. I mean, uh, Star Wars has been a big part of my life and my career. And just being able to see it for the first time, it left a great impression in my mind. And I'm sure it'll do for the fans as well. I think the fans would love it. I think this will be at Celebration 6 in Orlando this summer. So they'll get a chance to check it out. I think they'll love it. This was one of those ones that was obviously very personal to me. I mean, words can't express how excited I was to build this car. And to get the reaction that I got today, I think it, it hit home. We didn't overdo it where I was worried, you know, if we do too much, it's gonna just look cheesy. It's not gonna represent the brand the way we want to represent it. This car, you could actually get in and drive it and people would look at it and say, wow, that's an awesome car. Come check out Vader's Ride for yourself this summer at Star Wars Celebration 6. August 23rd through the 26th in Orlando, Florida. To win tickets to this event, go to westcoastcustoms.com. For more information, go to starwarscelebration.com. Next time on Inside West Coast Customs. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. Firefall and Trade Group is here to see you. Okay, cool. Thank you.
I think maybe the first thing we do is give you a quick tour around the shop, kind of show you our world, show you what we're capable of doing, and then we'll sit down and go over this build. Wow, that's a perfect canvas, right? Look how big that thing is. The next step is to get into the shop, get it broken down, and get working. So we wanted yeah, to drop these off, yeah. and um, I'll talk to you later about it. Cool. What the heck is this?